St. Martin in the Fields by Herbert Lomas City churches aren't always easy to pray in. There may be someone buffing brosses squeakily, insistently, with cheesy breath and a polish of rage behind their glasses, sending almost tangible meditations to disturb our straggly congregations. Or visitors delicately boggle at the faithful patience, guidebook in hand, not expecting religion in architecture like this. Outside, the pigeons drop little pats of white on assembled nations. Inside, we pray, uneasily wondering, whoever it is up there, is he listening? Yet here bums in a blue-chinned, Greek-looking worshiper, pockets stuffed with evening newspapers, coat flapping, and grabs his god by the throat. He prays precipitately, wagging his head, a pew-gripper, pointing out to an old employer, what? Is it horses? A tip flopped? A reproach? Or not? And suddenly, I'm in it. His grace has snatched me out. Over the altar, the angels' faces break the wood. They're reaching down with fact, listening, embracing, swooping. And I'm hatched. A broad white shell of completeness has widened and cracked. I'm open to sweetness.